Hi guys. So this is the first attempt of a real vlog because what I've done till now was just, I don't know, me dancing or um, me talking <laughs> and I'm totally unedited. This I'm gonna try to make <clears throat> out of bits and pieces around the house. And this is officially the first bit, but I'm not sure I'm gonna put it in, in the beginning. Anyway, this is me. Uh, it's 10 a.m. right now and unlike other days where I usually and most days I usually eat after 12 afternoon because I don't have breakfast I only have some coconut water or first of all lime juice this time I feel hungry I don't feel hangry yet but I do feel hungry and since I have some uh, mangoes that are almost overripe and were waiting for me in the fridge, I'm gonna cut in the first one, which is huge. Look, that's almost as huge as my head, and my head is not necessarily huge, but anyway. It's called the Brazil mango here, but it is uh, grown in Bali. It's more or less the emoji mango that you see on social media but right now the red orange side of it has grown <laughs> gone black because it's overripe but it looks exactly like the emoji mango and i'm gonna cut into it right now so i'm gonna take you wait but yeah of course my tripod is not okay so now here you see my kitchen area, the jungle area where I uh, throw my compost. Thank God, I don't know how I could go back to not having a compost area. And I know, I mean, I'm sure you know how to cut a mango alongside the stem, the stem, the, the look, yeah, waited too long. It's a pity but it's still amazing and the orange area is amazing the orange shade so the seed part just take the the peel out you see what i've done there no and this I, I don't think I'm gonna cut it into cubes as usual because mm, oh my god a typical Brazil flavor I don't know what that means but Ooh. oozing mm. Would you like me to take you with me while I'm eating? It's not going to be very attractive. But <clears throat> if I would ask myself, as a vlog watcher, <laughs> as a vlog fan, watching many people, different types of people, not necessarily vegan, because there are many things that inspire me in a vlog, not necessarily just... I don't know what they eat. That I already kind of know. I'm looking for a tissue. Uh, then I would, if I would ask myself, I would um, answer yes, fuck yes. Take me with you, Yulika. I would love to see you munch on an overripe huge mango and see you get dirty. And even if you're annoying me, Yulika, I would still love to see what you're doing and what you're up to and uh, how you act all cool and vegan and uh, you think you're also smart and uh, living in your Bali house and you got it all and uh, you're so privileged and I want to see what you how you stuff your mouth with mango so um, that's the kind of vlog watcher I am I hate watch the shit out of other people that maybe annoy me or i'm envious of them or they are not vegan so of course i don't agree with their choices 
Oh my god, this this orange is absolutely amazing. I wish it, could, it doesn't look the same. So, are we get, gonna get dirty together? That's the question. You are allowed to switch off to 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 skip forward while I'm gonna enjoy. Why should I not enjoy it here? What do you think? It's a little weird filming on a horizontal. I'm so used to the vertical position of the camera, like in the stories, uh, because you can't really see much, I'm thinking, but let's try. I'm gonna just dig in and then see if... Mm, mm. First cube goes down. Second cube. They just immediately come off the skin. Huge one. Mm. When it comes to Mark Banks and when it comes to ASMR videos, they, I actually like them. I don't care if people get dirty or they... I forgot how you say it in English. When you make noises like this. Normally, I was raised uh, being taught that um, it's extremely impolite to do that. And I, no matter how I was raised or not, I still find it unpleasant when I'm eating with someone in real life. And I do, I, I admit, I, I am judgmental in, in the sense that I think that person is a little disrespectful for doing that. It rarely happens, of course, but I thought I saw a cow <laughs> in the jungle, which is possible, but anyway. When it comes to AS ASMR, it's like, an, uh, like a, um, an upfront excuse, you know, calling it ASMR means you are allowed to be that disrespectful. And of course, uh, you're, no one is forced to, to watch you. So you're not forced to watch me doing that. And I usually don't do it, but sometimes, I mean, I'm, uh, as I said, I was raised to, to find that uh, disrespectful and, and to not do it even when I'm eating soup, for example, or noodles. Or... But when you are sucking on a, a mango um, seed or a mango skin or I don't know what other fruit, juicy fruit, uh, it's almost unavoidable, you know, to make some kind of sounds, which you more or less don't notice when you're eating with someone. But if you record yourself, and I try to record myself many times enjoying durian or enjoying mango. And every time I watch them back before posting them, I realize, oh my God, I'm making too many, too much sound. Like I, I feel like I'm so um, uh, uneducated in a way, you know, and uh, not well raised for doing that. And I think people will find it, um, how do you call it? Find it uh, gross. So I didn't post, maybe I only posted once, but I don't think you can notice the, my sound. So that's uh, something I am resistant to because although I love watching other people eat fruit uh, or ASMR on anything, even things that I don't agree being eaten, but I don't mind the sounds at all. They actually make me uh, want to eat <laughs> that Thing or it increases my appetite and um, so yeah I'm curious how you th how you think if you're a watcher of ASMR if you're a lover or acceptor at least of ASMR videos but here is me again talking instead of doing I'm gonna just continue with this mm. and besides the sounds which I still think are not so attractive when I do them when I make them, I think my, my face, my whole face and my mouth is totally not sexy. I mean, I know people, girls especially, who when they, they eat something on, on camera, they seem so sexy and their lips are so luscious and everything. And no, nothing changes into a like horrible, 
mm, eating face. But with me, again, every time I watch my, my, my videos back, with me eating something, I feel like, oh my god, I look like a, I don't know, cow, frog, which of course are adorable, but because they were born that way, I was born as a human, and if I eat like a cow, I look, <laughs> I look totally unattractive and annoying. It's not, my, my, my goal is not to always look attractive, but at least to not be annoying. Although I know I, anything I do, I will be annoying to some. So, <laughs> maybe I'm just going to post this as a, a vlog, an introductory vlog of me maybe starting to eat more on camera or vlogging or... Mm. See? Even if, when I take a small cube of mango, it looks like I'm ripping off a... I don't know. Mm? Is it just me? Maybe now it wasn't so bad. But this mango is amazing and i want to show you what i do after i finish one one half of mango mm. <laughs> even the ripe of a ripe brown part is good recently i posted a story with a photo of mangoes and red dragons that I just bought and I said that that is a full bag of food water and face cream I don't know who paid attention to those details but what I meant was fruits and fruit, they don't really have a plural. I mean, a different plural. Fruit is just like, uh, <sighs> please give me, like money, like um, shrimp, they don't have plural. I mean, the plural is the same. <laughs> but not many people know that. Mm. So, best source of water, <laughs> look at this, is fruit. And also, some fruit can be the best face cream you ever had. And this is also just taken out from the fridge, which means it's refreshing, it's rejuvenating for your skin, it's hydrating. And that's what I'm going to do. And I always do with mango peel or red dragon peel or papaya peel or avocado peel. Rubbing my face and my neck, neck, <laughs> neck and chest with it. Watch. Nothing compares to this. No stupid cream full of preservatives and tested on animals can compare to this. And then I keep it for a few hours or depending if I have to go out or not. And of course, sometimes I forget about it and I scare my neighbors or I scare myself when I look in the mirror. I don't know if you saw the Quentin Tarantino story. Anyway. Mm. Did you just see my mouth? Incredible flavor. And only when you come to the tropics and start eating real local food in season, 
you realize that most of the tropical food food <laughs> you've been buying and enjoying or not really in Europe were actually tasteless <laughs> and mango can have so many flavors there are so many types only in Bali I can imagine I don't know South America is even more full of mango. Thailand, mm, amazing mangoes. Best I've ever eaten. Okay, I was boring and gross enough for one vlog. So I'm gonna see you in the next one because I think 15 minutes can be enough for, some people have told me half an hour is too much for a vlog, but I'm always thinking if I, if I found a long vlog, I'm actually happy from a vlog from someone course I, I find interesting then also you can play it as a at a, diff, uh, at a higher speed well I, I shouldn't necessarily encourage you to do so but just in case you find it easier and then you can just pause it and watch another day that's what I do so I'm always taking all of these things from my personal filter and seeing how I am as a watcher Okay, encourage me to continue if you think there's anything uh, useful or inspiring or funny or worth watching, you know. I'm going to continue um, eating like a cow on this huge mango that I got left. And I'm going to, my, my brain is going to continue thinking what else I could vlog about, but your suggestions would always be welcome <laughs> kisses from bali <laughs>